the fear is gone. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Daily Update. And as the old song says, the fear is gone. Da -da -da -da. In the meantime, look, we've got a, a market that knows no selling. Okay, no matter what happens, no matter how much you try to sell it off, it continues to bounce back. It's like that clown that you hit that bounces off the floor all the time. Right now, that's what the market is doing, which is why we continue to preach, be patient, wait for it, because you had... We said yesterday that there would be news coming out. And sure enough, this morning, I don't know what time it was, but let's say 11 o'clock, boom, China comes out and says they're going to get be willing to renegotiate. And the markets spark higher. And before you know it, they're crumbling down. And before you know it again, they're back up rallying again. Now, you've got a lot of things going on here. There's a lot of divergences within these markets. Uh, the NASDAQ and the, and the tech has been a little bit heavy, but did substantially come back from the lows. The Dow is higher, uh, came back from its lows. The S&P is right around the flat line, and the Russell's been all over the place. So at the end of the day, we say the fear is gone. I mean, again, you watch the VIX, and I, I had actually texted out right before the China announcement came out, and I said, watch the VIX. The markets are down, and the VIX is down. Doesn't make sense. We're probably going to rally. Boom, here came the spike rally. So again, that's the kind of things you want to watch for, because what we're really trading off of and what we're looking at is the emotions of others. OK, that's what it comes down to. So make sure that you understand exactly what we're looking for. Right now, we're really just chopping and churning between a big range. OK, and typically we sometimes peak up to new highs, but the overall markets are in a huge range. That's what we're looking at. In the meantime, uh, the WASD report came out today. And whew, boy, it was ugly. It was ugly if you're along, if you're along the grains, except for soybeans, but they've already been trampled on. Uh, you saw corn go down about 13, 14 cents before it was all said and done. I think they were down at as much as 16 before coming back a little bit. Wheat was interesting, was up big and then went down big. Soybeans actually were positive on the day. Look, we're buyers across the board. The market is never wrong, okay? But I think that the, the sellers are wrong in this case here. Now, we're not going to step in front. We're not going to get crazy. We're long and wrong right now. But what you're actually seeing, I think, is a market that had no volume you had a lot of panic and puking today in the grains. And I think you saw pretty much of a blow up to the downside. I will step out and say that the bottoms are now in there. And I think that's what we see. Meats were strong again today. Uh, as we've continued to say, we love the ag space. We're buyers pretty much across the board on all opportunities. And sure enough, we had a nice little bit of rally here. So we're going to continue to watch that. Bonds were a little bit higher, but you know, no big deal. I mean, they've been getting hammered anyway. So a little bit of a rally is no big deal. Gold finally took a shot out. Now, again, it's got, it's got more work to do to break out to the upside. It's still in the range, 1190 to 1220, but it was lower and it did go up about 11 bucks today. So that could be a positive sign. Some of the gold miner stocks had some nice action. So we could be on the way to potentially breaking out. We're still observing. We're not aggressively in. We are in with a few small options positions in gold, but not, nothing big, nothing that's going to make me miss a meal if I'm wrong. Um, the dollar was down a little bit today. Again, you've got Mario Draghi speaking tomorrow morning. Uh, I don't see anything else. I can only see the euro going down from here. And for those in the euro, uh, you, you want if you're going to enter a new trade in the euro, you want to start using the December future versus the September. That expires, goes off the board next Friday, but rollover is going to start tomorrow. So remember to take a look at that. Uh, oil, uh, again, oil's playing the hurricane. And we had a huge rally up. We got over 71 in oil today. Closing somewhere just about 70. Uh, this is a fear trade. Again, I, I can't say it enough times. I know it's very painful when you're shorted, as I am. But again, to me, this is just fear. This is all in the hurricane. When the hurricane blows over, what's going to happen? We're going to see back that we're going to go down and test that 64 level. So let's not get, don't try to chase the momentum. If you want to be long and you missed it, wait for a better opportunity. We want to be short. So we actually like the rally, just not quite as far as it went. But again, these are things that we look at. And of course, the cryptocurrencies are a little bit of a rally today. Uh, nothing, no surprise. We expected to see a little bit of a rally. We think the bottoms are in. And again, remember, markets go up and down and they test levels. The key is, do they make lower lows? That's not a good sign. 
or if they make higher highs, that is a good sign if you're long. So that's what you're looking for when, when you watch these markets. But overall, there is no concern here. Nobody cares. Everybody wants to convince you that this time is different. I was listening to them today talk about uh, the bailout of the banks, which I don't think they ever should have bailed out. Okay, I think they should have bailed out the depositors. I said this 10 years ago. I'm saying it today. They should have let the banks go out of business because if any of us did what they did, we would be either in bankruptcy court or in jail. And I think they're doing the same thing once again. And we're going to have the same meltdown for the same reason, because there's too much debt and because they don't care because they know that the Fed's there to bail them out. So we should end the Fed or, Fed or at least audit the Fed. That's from my point of view. This is Bubba's Daily Update. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Mario Draghi speaks at 8.30 Eastern. Could be some action. We'll see how it plays out. Bubba's Daily Update. Make sure you check out our high school investing program. If you'd like to help us out, go to Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com forward slash Bubba Trading. And don't forget to catch the Bubba Show every day from 4 to 5 Eastern at LibertyTalk.fm. Tomorrow, we've got Adam Barada making his case for gold. So check it out. Have a great day, everybody. Bubba's Daily Update. We'll see you back here tomorrow on Thursday. Bubba's Daily Update. See you, everybody.